I think Fallon's hoping he wasn't going to get the return ball there after that uh, burst downfield. The ball's out the centre there to uh, Schofield. A man back inside to Harmon and there's a yawning gap. And Neil Harmon just strolls in there for a uh, try about five, six metres aside the left-hand post. With about a quarter of an hour of the match gone. Three men to get him down there. Big man is Harvey Howard. And Gary Mercer. Good try there. Gary Mercer has run all... Uh, all game up to press. I think he deserves the two points there, the four points there does Mercer. But I shouldn't imagine they'll want to leave uh, Bellevue this afternoon with a, a loss. And Johnny Tom's going for a bit of treatment there. And he slots a beautiful one on the end of the jaw from Mercer. And they're all in there. This, uh, this game's been boiling since the kickoff of the second half. He didn't like the... Uh, he didn't like the tackle from Mercer, and as he played the ball, he lunged and caught him on square on the jaw. And nobody messes, I'm afraid, with Johnny Thompson. And it's still going on. The referee's in there. I wonder how he's going to sort this one out. Zane Gildart in there. There's Billy Conway in there, of course. Billy's had a couple of uh, altercations with Jim Fallon. Nigel Wright kicks the ball away. Andy Kelly's on the field to see what's going on. The moment the clock's held up, and now the referee will sort this one out. As far as I could see, there was nobody offside at that incident. Mr Tennant seems to have lost control of this uh, game in the second half, Stuart. Uh, this game seems to have been boiling since the kick-off for the second half. It's been one or two uh, late and floppy tackles. And I think Johnny Thompson has got a yellow card there. Well, he can't really penalise Gary Mercer because Gary Mercer was just hit first. It's another game where you cannot retaliate. You can't, you've got to defend yourself. And Gary Mercer was certainly the... Uh... Well, again, that's a ridiculous decision from Ray Tennant there. And the touch judge not giving him any help whatsoever. When he's hit Nigel Bell, he used a short side with Schofield, finds Ido. Ido just powers himself away there. Over in the corner for the try. That will probably seal the game for Leeds. So Nigel Wright gets the game underway. The ball's taken there by the try scorer, Kevin Iro. And he's met there by three men, but manages to get away. And that's why they call Kevin Iro the beast. And the Wayfield tackling machine comes over to get hold of him. Slips the ball nicely there. If Nigel Wright's going to get Gary Schofield. Yes, Gary Schofield stops. I think if Gary Schofield had kept on, his momentum might just have taken him. Good cover in there from the Wakefield defence. Slinging the ball out quickly there to Tate. They loaded up on the far side. That's Iro. Iro, Richie Ayres. Richie Ayres scores a try there. That was made with a good run from Kevin Iro from the restart. Wakefield didn't take a drive here and it'll be George Mann. And again, Iro's away now. And Iro this time will take Gary Spencer on. Oh, just absolutely run through Gary Spencer there and Kevin Iroh's decided he wants to play football now. It's taken uh, 67 minutes for him to do so, but he's now over for his second try and leads his third try. In half, George Mann, Gary Schofield, Innes, Innes slips the ball back inside to Alan Tate. Alan Tate just strolls past Gary Spencer for another score under the post. And that's the end of the match. That's the last game at McEwen's Bellevue.